Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru. It is April 19th, 2024, and I am here to talk about the All-Stars event. If you find these videos helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. So it is just about to hit midnight and become April 20th, and according to the schedule I made up for myself, uh, this is a very important time for me because I did not get to participate in the first knockout round because I was off by a day. And then I participated in the second chance round, uh, the first second chance, and got through the first round, but not through the second round. And now I am in the second second chance. I didn't stutter. That's what it is. It's the second second chance. Uh, the second chance two, round one, I completed and got in the top spot. So now I'm in the second second chance. The second chance two, round two, and it ends in an hour. And I have to get the top spot and I have not jumped in yet. And a lot of you already know that the reason I didn't jump in is because I like to be put in with a whole bunch of slackers. Now, I may have slacked too much, but it's not surprising that it's not saying anything about the events. Sometimes that happens. So here's the deal. I'm super tired. I normally don't stay up this late, especially because I had to wake up early yesterday since that was the completion of uh, the first round of this event. And I'm not planning to go to L.A., not planning to make it to the live finals. So I'm not too worried if this fails. But just because this didn't populate doesn't mean I, I'm out of the race. Because if I go to the map and I go to a level and I just enter, everything should populate. If I say play, but then I don't play and I just ease back out, it'll probably populate those events for me. Let's see if I'm correct. Okay, so now after I close this, a whole bunch of things pop up. There we go. All-Star all Second Chance Round 2 of 2. And I need to make it into the very top spot. Because I am so tired, it's going to be very difficult for me. I'm going to try to bring you back in so you can see what's going on with the event. But if it's a really tight race and people are um, really trying to get to the very top and it's competitive, I'm already going to be at a disadvantage because I'm so tired. So I'm probably not going to bring you back very often because I'll need to keep going quickly. That's the plan. And in order to maximize the amount I get, what I want to do is play the new levels because I get a times 30 multiplier. Uh, while I'm doing it, I might also be able to get some other things like the chocolate box and maybe a candy royale. Doesn't matter to me. What does matter to me is I want to do this um, episode race. So I will try to finish out the episode, even if it looks like I'm going to lose horribly, because I'll want to get the gold. I should get, I think, 45 gold from that. <sighs> All right, here we go, folks. As soon as I complete a level, that's it. Then I'm entered onto the leaderboard. So I will meet you back here at the end of this level, and then hopefully I'll be able to check in after that, but I might just be flying right after that. So I'll see you in just a bit. Okay, as soon as I make this move, that's when everything starts to fly. And that's, of course, when all these other events will populate, and I'll be frustrated because I'm trying to get to just the all-star event, and things are going to get in my way. It's what happens. All right, got that done. Oh, look at that. There's my daily win. Okay, here we go. I'm on the board, and there are 29 of us, and the top person already has <gasps> over 141,000. Hopefully that person's gone to bed. I've got less than an hour to get this done. I need to fly. I'll see you in a while.
Okay, quickly going to go ahead and collect this. I haven't been going very fast uh, until the last couple of rounds, and then I decided I needed to pick it up because even though uh, our friend at the top has not been climbing, uh, it's still a, a big jump to get 141 <sighs> points. And I've only got half an hour left to do it. And I am so tired. Oh, stay asleep, stay asleep. All right, see you in a little while. Well, I don't think I was fast enough. I think it ended and I think I'm in like fourth place. Here are the results. I didn't make it. You can tell I didn't make it. Uh, third place. I was so close. Do you know, this is almost exactly... <laughs> What happened to me last time where I just didn't have the energy to play quickly enough. I didn't get this player and I didn't get the new player that showed up. So close, just not enough juice to do it. Now, I could have changed the situation. I could have used a whole bunch of boosters. I could have used my uh, UFOs and my party poppers and gone in and just finished levels super quickly. That's one way to get ahead. But I hope this demonstrates to everybody that, um, first of all, it's good to know what your, what your rate is. I'm not very fast at collecting because I like to look at the board first and get an idea of it. And that doesn't work well for, uh, someone who has to play extremely quickly. Also, I get preoccupied. I'm always either listening to music or listening to the TV, and I don't concentrate exactly on the game. So that's important. If you want to do well, you probably need to put a lot of focus into this. You probably are going to need to use a lot of boosters, and you may need to start earlier. Another reason that I wanted to kind of delay and um, hold off jumping into the second chance is because I wanted to see if this strategy still worked because I figured it probably wouldn't work going into the final finals, the final knockout rounds. And I think this proved that that is truer than it is false. Did I have to get as many as other people had to get? No. Did I have to get still a lot more than I have had to get on the other rounds? Yes. And that's because it becomes more and more competitive. So now those of you who have made it into the final knockout rounds, and I am so excited for you. I know quite a few of you have made it. Um, it's going to be strenuous. And my strategy of delaying may or may not work. The only reason I wanted to get into the knockout rounds is actually just to see if it would work. And I didn't think it would. Uh, but that really wouldn't help any of you who are in the final knockout rounds anyway, because you have to make your own determination about your strategies, adopt it from the beginning and go. And that's going to happen tomorrow morning, 9 a.m., Eastern time, several days, and remember you're competing against people who made it through this or this, and then made it either through this and this, or this and this, or this. And then after you make it through here, you have to get in the top spot. No more top five or top three. You have to get in the very top spot. And if you make it into the top spot, then you get into the round two and you have to make it into the top spot there. And if you do that, you get into the final knockouts and you have to make it into the top spot there. And that determines who goes to LA, but it's going to be vicious vicious by the time you get to here. So just have courage, have strength, have perseverance, or have reasonable expectations like I did, where you go, oh, well, that's okay. I'm not terribly disappointed. So that's it for me. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. I don't know why I always fail on that last knockout round. I just... I just don't have it in me to be that competitive for this.
but I know that some of you do, and I'm wishing the best for you. Bye-bye.